Hi friends, Cole Chance here, Yoga TX, and excited to be back in the studio, just got back, and all kinds of good things coming your way. And today, going to do some yoga for back pain. So several different stretches and um, some openings that we'll work on today. I think it's a cultural thing, I don't know. Um, it seems like everybody has some type of back pain. So we'll try to hit uh, neck and shoulders, and uh, mid back, low back, see what we can do, see if we can fix you up a little bit. I definitely know I get, uh, my back gives me a lot of grief sometimes. So we'll see if we can fix us both up. Let's just go ahead and get centered real quick. You can sit cross-legged. I'm sitting up on a block. Whatever you would like to do, just get centered for a moment and let's find a good position to start. Roll the shoulders back, chest forward. Pull the belly in and find that natural curve of the spine. So a lot of times we're, you know, doing something wrong for our back right off, right out of the gate, right? When we start the race from our posture. So finding that really good posture helps sitting up high. Should have that curve at the low back, shoulder blades, up and back. Really broad from shoulder to shoulder. Kind of imprint this feeling. Reaching down through the tail, reaching up through the crown. It may be, even be helpful if you have somebody handy to um, Look at the posture to sit, have them take a photo of you where you think you're sitting straight and see what it looks like. I was with a student the other day and he was certain that he was in a good posture. I knew he wasn't, so I took a picture of him. And then I showed it to him and then we were able to fix it. So that can be really helpful. Because we get so used to, um, it's like muscle memory. We get so used to the way that we sit. If we're at a computer, if we're texting on our phone, this is me texting on my phone, <laughs> I'm, um, or on Google Maps. I've been traveling a lot, so I'm like on Google Maps watching that little blue dot all the time. But we get whatever position that we're in, it creates muscle memory, and we keep going back to that. So sometimes we need a little help to remember where center actually is. So feel free to reach out. Let's just take a gentle twist to start. So take left hand to the right knee, right hand behind. Lengthen even higher, and then take a twist. Inhale, find length. So inhales, we're always creating space. And then exhale, we utilize. And again. Good, leave the left hand where it is. We'll bring the right hand over. Bring the chin towards the chest, round the back. Let the head hang low and heavy. Feel from the base of the skull, the muscles coming down the spine and opening. Let's start to come forward, let's cross at the elbows and wrap around. So you can have the palms together or the back of the hands together. It'll be different for everyone, either way. Bring the elbows in line with the shoulders. Kind of push the elbows forward a little bit. So my back is rounded. And then we'll lift up through the fingertips, bring the shoulders back. Exhale, bring the shoulders forward forward round and inhale come up so there's a little bit of cat cow happening in my back i don't know if you can probably see see that how there's a little bit more space here i'm bringing the shoulders back when i come forward i round the shoulders good twice more inhale up push the elbows away and exhale down this really is nice in between the shoulder blades. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
Inhale, arms wide, reach up. And hands to heart center. Press the hands strongly into each other. You want to create space in the armpits here. Bring the chest forward to the thumbs and the thumbs pressing down into the sternum as well. Find that natural curve in the spine again. Bring the shoulder blades back together. Nice, and release. We'll switch sides. Take the left hand, I'm sorry, the right hand to the left knee. Left hand behind, inhale, create space. And exhale, twist, gazing over the left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen and twist. Again, in and out. Come forward, leaving the right hand where it is. Cross the left hand over. Start to round forward, drop the neck. Take a couple rounds of breath right here. Really exaggerate it. But press the spine back towards the back wall. You can shake the head yes, shake the head no, release in the neck. And start to come forward, taking eagle arms. So we'll press the elbows away, start to round and come down. Inhale, come up. And again, exhale. Inhale up. Twice more with your own breath. Honor your breath. So if I'm going a little bit faster or a little bit slower than, than uh, you, then go ahead and honor your own breath. We won't get too far apart. Arms wide. And exhale, hands, heart center, press into the hands. Bring the thumbs into the chest, chest into the thumbs. Release the shoulders down. Good, release the hands. Grab a strap or grab a belt or grab a scarf. Any of this will work. So this might be a little uncomfortable, but it's really good, it's the good hurt. So we're gonna take the strap, take the, so the thumbs are in. We'll take the strap, it'll be different for everybody. I have really long arms. We'll kind of get like a, a V shape, a Y shape. If you have really tight shoulders, um, like maybe a muscular, muscular man, they need a little bit more room, so we'll kind of open it up a little bit more. So you just kind of have to gauge that for yourself. But at least think about a V. Maybe uh, you have a wider angle than that, 90 degree angle or more. So we're gonna pull the strap apart. Notice where the wrists are. I'm gonna bring them in line with my ears. Roll the shoulder blades back with the strap in. Feel that difference there. So I was kind of here, roll the shoulder blades back. Pull in opposite directions. Yeah, <laughs> tight. I'm gonna open up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Pulling apart. And notice that the shoulder blades are coming together now. So the more that you pull apart at the, with the hands, the shoulder blades come together. You might feel a little bit of tingling, a little bit of numbness. Kind of hitting all that nerves and brachial plexus there. Close your eyes. Breathe, feel into the sensation. If there's any pain, then go ahead and come out. We're looking for that good hurt, that opening. So only you know where that is. So really listen into the body. So yeah, really helpful to close the eyes and feel in. This is so good for the hunched shoulder, which is a lot of our problem. Now if it's available, start to bring the strap back. Maybe you bring it back a little bit more. Whew, that's about as far. Close the eyes again. Feel in. So reach, 
reach in and listen. All right, we'll move. Left arm starts to come down, right arm comes up. I'm gonna bend my left hand. I'm gonna show you how this goes. Right arm's coming up, left arm's gonna bend. I'm gonna keep this straight, but I'm gonna pull down with the left hand. The shoulder wants to come forward. I'm gonna roll it back. Three more rounds of breaths. Take your medicine, it's good for you. And let's come back up. So you'll have to switch the arms here. And then we'll move over towards the right. Take the right arm behind the back, grab for the strap, I've lost it, there it is. Left arm straight up, up by the ear. Right hand's grabbing the strap, pulling down. The shoulder blade's really coming down, left shoulder blade. Pulling down with the right hand, pulling up with the left hand, equal opposition. The deeper you can breathe, the slower you can breathe, it's really um, telling the body that it's safe and helping it release. You start to find yourself um, breathing really shallow, then come out of it a little bit because only with a full round of breath is this gonna be beneficial. And let's release with both hands. And shake the arms out. Bring the blood back in. Let's bring the right arm over. Left hand catches the arm and just pulls back. So kind of getting into the shoulder here. Breathing. Outer shoulder. And release, switch sides, left arm. So many times when we have back pain in one place, a lot of times the place uh, where it hurts is actually not the problem. So, you know, the slumping of the shoulders can cause low back pain. You know, it's all, it's all connected. So we'll get a good kind of work on everything here. You can really notice a difference. And release, good. Let's come to cat into, uh, sorry, tabletop position. Knees are underneath the hips and the hands, the wrists are underneath the shoulders. Let's take a couple cat cows here. So inhale, bring the chest forward, bring the hands towards the knees, belly towards the ground. Exhale, push the ground away. Fingertips can move up towards the top of the mat. They're not actually moving, but just that direction. You'll feel how that ex exaggerates, intensifies the pose. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, push away. Come to neutral. Right arm will start to come up, so kind of like a bow and arrow. You're pulling back, shining the heart open to the side. Reaching up, up, up. Exhale, let's thread it through. Inhale, coming right back up, push into the left hand. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread it through. So we're just touching the shoulder down and coming right back up, push the ground away. Inhale, length. And exhale, we'll stay. Couple different options for the left arm. You can Finger tip it forward and over towards the right. Maybe this is a good place for you. Another thing you can do if you want to go a little bit deeper, bring the hand up, fingertips up. Start to bend the elbow. Maybe you bring it behind your back. Maybe you reach around towards the inner right thigh. If you have the inner right thigh, then use that. Press the hand into the inner right thigh and let that help to spin your heart open. Gaze over the left shoulder, gazing up. 
Notice if the hips want to go over to the left, mine are kind of coming over to the left. I want to bring them back over towards the right there. It's a deep, deep twist. If you're bound, then bring the arm back up. We'll all meet pushing the left hand into the ground, bringing ourselves back up. Kind of unwind here. Plant the hand. Ah, we'll switch sides. Inhale, bow and arrow. Kind of pulling back, shining the left side of the heart open. And exhale, come all the way down. Just touch the shoulder down. Press the ground away. Inhale, open. And exhale. Again, inhale, open up. Exhale, come all the way down and we'll stay. So again, a couple different options. Reach the fingertips forward. You can stay right here. You can take them over to the left. This is a great place to stay. Keep the hips square. Notice if they want to come over to the right. Or you can bring that right arm up. Bring it behind the back or maybe around to the thigh. Press the hand to the thigh to spin the chest open. This is a deep twist, so really listen to the body. And breathe. So again, checking in with if you're able to fully get an inhale and an exhale. That's kind of the barometer. That is the barometer. <laughs> Unbind if you're bound. We'll meet pushing the ground away. Counter twisting open. And then let's push back child's pose. So let's take a traditional child's pose, which is actually with the knees together. Hands coming back. Palms up. Just feel your belly pressing into the thighs with the breath. So with the hands forward, this is, uh, you know, kind of activating the shoulders. With the arms back, this is helping to relax the shoulders. So we just did some, a bunch of shoulder work. So just let it, let them have a little space here. Now bring the arms up front. Let's go ahead and come up and we'll sit back. Bring the right leg out. Left foot's coming into the thigh. Get a block, place it by the right knee. Maybe it's high, different levels. So I'm gonna take the elbow down towards the block wherever it may be. Plant the head into the hand. This is one of my favorite poses. I get it to, uh, some low back pain, so this is great to target this area, which can be hard to target. So I'm leaning over towards the right, noticing that I'm not coming forward here, that I'm really square, open. Left arm comes up and over. And I'm just gonna relax it over my head. So I'm having space so the heart can spin open. I'm going to come down a little bit more. Really getting into the left QL muscle here, left low back. Mmm, it's so good. So deep breathing. Letting the fascia, so fascia is like Imagine like a honeycomb. Um, that's kind of what it looks like, but it's like a casing that it covers all of our muscles and it can get really tight. Um, if it's pinched somewhere in the body, it covers all of our muscles all the way through the body. So imagine if, you know, if, I'm in, if I was to pull like on my pants right here, it makes, it pulls all the way down. Does that make sense? I need a better visual. If I pull right here, it's making it tight everywhere. So the same in the body. If it's tight one spot in the body, then 
it also reverberates through the rest of the body. And it takes a while to open. So this is really kind of releasing, it's opening the muscle and also opening the fascia, which is really important. Very, very important. More rounds of breath here. This is, mm. love this. Much needed. Go ahead and come up. We'll switch sides. Walk behind the left knee and start to set up. Making sure that the heart's open, that you can look up at the sky. Notice the discrepancies on both sides. We are not even, um, and that's fine. We don't start even, so um, there'll be a little. You'll be a little different on each side, and that's okay. But good to notice. This is I'm a little more bound up over here. So continuously spreading the opening the heart. I started to sink. We tend to even subconsciously avoid the stretch. Like I just started talking and started kind of coming forward. So you kind of have to be, um, or you do have to and become aware of that. A couple more rounds of breath. And start to come up. Ah, nice. Let's set up for a pose with the blocks here. I'm gonna take one block, laying it this way, hot dog style. And it's gonna come down about mid back about where your bra strap is, or boys, if you uh, don't wear a bra, where if you did, your bra strap would be. You might have to check in with that. Legs can be long or they can be together. Take the other block and bring it behind the head. Mm. So you might want to adjust it a couple times and see what feels right. Move mine up just a little bit. So legs can be long. You can have the knees bent. I'm in Baddha Konasana with the soles of the feet together. And we're gonna bring the arms into cactus arms. Whew. So you might be feeling a lot of things right here. I'm feeling a really big opening in my chest, in the pectoral muscles. This is the cause of a lot of back pain. So that hunched position that we do, that shortens these muscles right here, which lengthens the back muscles and uh, wrecks havoc. This is a big heart opening pose. I'm also feeling a lot of uh, trigger points from where the block is hitting in my back, around the shoulder blades, which is a good hurt, both of, both of that happening. And I'm also getting a big opening in the hips as well. If this starts to become too much with the legs, change directions, can bring the knees together, feet wide. So your elbows may not even come down here. And if it feels okay to leave them out like this, then do. You could also put pillows underneath, like so, let me show you. But only if you still have room for a stretch. Like you don't want it up so high that you're not getting a stretch. Just a little visual for you. I'm noticing that my right arm's coming, my right elbow's coming down, my left, left one isn't. So we have to be really patient with the process. Mm, this has been, been a big patience year for me. It's always something I've been scared to ask for, like scared to try to manifest is patience because I know that's a hard lesson. But 
I don't know if I asked for it, but I got it this year. Not that I've learned it, but I'm um, getting it. But the same with the body, with releasing, um, you know, changing, changing the body, openness, finding, finding more space. It takes, you know, it takes a lot of patience to un, to rechange patterns. So we have to, you know, make our practice stronger than our habits, which can be difficult. Bring the hands overhead. Kind of grab one wrist with the other hand, let them rest overhead. Have a lot of patience with our mind. We all have these idiosyncrasies that drive us crazy. Mine is spinning. I can spin out about something. You know, rethinking, overthinking, thinking in all different ways and shapes and directions. And really trying to let go of that. And you know, I'm starting to notice different, uh, different ways of doing that. Breathing or starting to realize like, you know, what the fear is. Like what, what fear is behind my overthinking. And that really helps to dissipate it. But being compassionate with myself and being patient with myself, knowing that I'm learning, and you're learning too, I mean, life is just a practice. So having to have self-compassion, that in itself is a, a lesson in patience. So I hope you're joining me in that. Slowly release the arms. Whew. There's not a graceful way to come out of this, but we'll just roll over to one side or the other. Bring the hand down to catch yourself and then remove the blocks. And then we'll come onto the back. I'm just gonna do a rolling bridge here. Bring the hand down to the mat. Bring the low back down to the ground. That starts to lift the hips up. So connect the low back. It begins to lift the hips up. Up, 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 up. So now just the upper back is on the floor and then start to come down. So we're gonna breathe really deep, really slow and articulate the spine. So let's do it. X or inhale, sorry, press the low back down, 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 press into the feet and the upper back to lift the hips up. Exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, start to come down, mid back, low back, and low back comes up. And then exhale, press the low back down, lift the hips. And start to come down. Twice more with your own breath. Close your eyes, feel in, and visualize the spine articulating. Maybe come up a little bit higher. Once more. Good. I'm going to shake the hips out. And we'll take um, a happy baby because um, low back pain a lot of times can come from the hips. So let's bring the hands together, bring them in between the knees. So the arms go in between the knees, reach the outside of the thighs. So maybe you stay right here. This is a new pose for you and your hamstrings aren't so open. Maybe you're grabbing the ankles. Or you start to bring the feet up. Flex the feet. Notice if they're stickling in, you want them to be flexed and straight. Pull down with the hands. Press up with the feet. Equal opposition. Low back should be on the ground so that sometimes the tailbone will come up. Try to bring the tailbone down to the ground. So lots of things to think about. Tailbone to the ground. Kick up with the feet. Pull down with the hands. Shoulders away from ears. Breathe. Just that, just all of that. Let's start to open up one leg. 
not all the way straight, just kind of opening a little bit and then open up the other. Again, go back and forth. Good. And bring the knees into the chest. Roll side to side. Two options. I'm gonna take a twist. Easy twist. Well, first off, regardless what twist you're doing, bring the hips over to the right just a little bit. Easy twist, you just bring the legs one over the other. Or bring the right leg, sit cross-legged. Or we're not sitting cross-legged, but lay cross-legged. And then bring the hips over. This will be a little bit deeper of a twist. So feel in. Bring the arms wide. I can press my left elbow down into the ground, bring my shoulder up, and that'll spin my chest open more towards the sky. Head can go up, gaze up, or gaze over towards the right. Let your body be heavy. Bring the knees into the chest. Shift the hips over to the left, just a couple inches. So knee over knee, twist to the right, or left leg crosses over, comes down to the right. Again, you can press the right elbow now down to the ground to twist the chest open. Gaze is up, the gaze is over towards the left. center. Knees back into the chest. Just take a couple rolls up and down, kind of massage in the back. One more. We'll roll ourselves up or push yourself up or however you need to get up. Sit cross-legged here. You can sit up on a block. I always sit on a block if it's an option. I have a block. And just bring the hands to the knees here. Bring the chest forward and over towards the right. We'll just take some big circles here. Back to the left and to the right. You can start to kind of move the neck around as well. So when you go back, bring the chin down. Let's switch sides. Full range of motion, full articulation. And come to center. Find that natural curve of the spine, rooting down at the tail, lifting high at the crown. Bring the hands together. Press the knuckles and the palms into each other, creating space under the armpits. Take a big breath in, fill up. And release out the mouth. Thumbs to the third eye. We bow forward and say namaste. Hmm. I hope that uh, you find some benefit from this. There's some different exercise for different parts of the body. So maybe you found one more beneficial than the other and you can just take that uh, snippet with you. 
take what you love, leave the rest. Um, check us out at yogatx.org. We have all kinds of uh, great things going on there and news to uh, keep up with. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. And I will see you on your mat. Namaste.